Welcome to another Dark Nook video. In this video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Ifergu, 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 I, I don't know how this is pronounced, but I picked up this uh, polymer clay beginner's kit off of Amazon uh, for about $15. I think it was on sale. It's normally about $20. Well, there's a bunch of these on Amazon ranging in prices and quality. Um, some of them I've I've seen reviews that are just, they're garbage, and some of them uh, apparently are pretty decent, but I hadn't seen any reviews for this particular brand, so I figured I'd pick one up and uh, do a review. And the first thing I noticed is it's pretty well packaged. It's not uh, slapped together junk. And on the back, instructions in about five or six different languages. It's your standard polymer clay instructions on how to bake them at 275 degrees for 15 minutes per quarter of an inch. So this is pretty standard polymer clay. It comes with a little instruction booklet that has in basic instructions on how to make certain projects, little step-by-steps that I guess if you've never worked with polymer clay before, this could be kind of useful just to give you some ideas for projects to make. It comes with a little bag of, uh, of accoutrement, little bag of accessories. And this is the same stuff that comes with pretty much all of these kits. There's little bead stoppers and earring blanks. There's a keychain, a hair clip. There's a little blank for making a ring. It's pretty standard stuff. If you want to make some jewelry or charms or a little keychain, that sort of thing. Little knickknacks and trinkets. Now we get down to the tools. Everything in this kit was packaged very well. It comes with a roller that's not super high quality. But it's also not really that flimsy. I mean, it, it looks like it'll work to do the job. It's not going to buckle and crumble. It comes with uh, three little tools, shaping tools here. Um, they aren't the best quality either. They're a little flimsy. But again, I, I think they'll do the job of working with this clay. And they seem to have a couple of different sort of specialty tool tips on them for making particular shapes or patterns in the clay clamshell ridging and that sort of thing but what I found really surprising were these uh, metal ball tools now I was expecting when I saw them in the picture that this was just gonna be a plastic tube with a couple of uh, metal ball ends kind of stuck into the plastic tube with a little peg and I was a little surprised to find that no in fact these are solid metal bars they're put together pretty well it's a solid metal piece all the way through that's just got sort of a rubberized coating over the handle. But it's a solid metal bar all the way through attaching these. So, uh, yeah, I was uh, I was impressed at the quality of these. These these are actually pretty robust metal ball sculpting tools that I'm going to definitely keep and use on other projects. The uh, little pink flimsy knife and stuff, that's that's not going to make it into my regular tool kit. I'm, I'm not going to use those on anything except... The project I try to make here in the second part of this video but these metal ball tools I'm I'm definitely gonna be keeping those those are those are going into uh, regular rotation in my uh, sculpting toolkit now I did a quick count and uh, these these blocks there are 48 of them they didn't cheap out and forget to add one or something there are a few colors that are very similar a couple of the blues are real close to each other but no they're they're all different colors and the uh, the blocks are pretty sizable these are a little smaller than the standard blocks you might get at Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or something like that. Those I think are two ounce blocks and these are a little over one ounce. I think they're not quite one and a half ounce, but they're uh, a little between one and one and a half ounce. Now I want to check out the consistency of this stuff. Here for example, just for comparison, I have a piece of Sculpey 3. I think I used this for the mono sculpt. It's been out of its uh, original packaging and sitting in a plastic uh, Ziploc bag for a little while. Um, so it needs a little bit of working. Uh, it's a little firm, but uh, with a little conditioning and a little rolling, it, it gets right back into a uh, workable state. Now the clay that comes in the kit, I'm just gonna take a block at random. I'm gonna use this green and test it out. First thing I notice, it's pretty soft. Um, but not too soft. It's not um, it's not gooey. Uh, it still requires just a little bit of uh, conditioning. Not quite as much as the Sculpey 3 though. It's a little softer than the Sculpey 3, but it's not really sticky. Uh, none of it's coming off on my hands. And it's uh, firm enough that it'll hold detail, 
but it is not uh, it is not so firm that you have to work it for a ridiculously long time to get it conditioned enough to sculpt with. Now the other thing I do to test this is I'll roll out a bit into a thin sort of snake tentacle. If it's malleable enough to move around easily, but also firm enough that if you move it into a shape, it'll hold that shape relatively well. That's a really good sign for decent polymer clay. The other test I do is once it's conditioned, I'll pull a piece off and see how thin it gets before it breaks. Good quality polymer clay will hold together until it's very thin before it breaks in this test. And that lets you know that this clay will hold detail very well because it sort of has the capacity to maintain structure even when it's very, very thin. But this appears to be very decent quality uh, polymer clay, which is a little surprising because a lot of the reviews I've read for these kind of kits say that the clay that you get in them is just garbage. But this is actually pretty decent. I'm looking forward to sculpting a project with this clay. And that's what I'm gonna be doing in the next video. In my next video, I'm gonna be using just the materials from this kit to sculpt a project. I won't be using any of my tools. I'll just be using the tools that came in this kit. I will be adding an armature and a base. So a little piece of wood for the base and wire for the armature. And those two things didn't come in this kit, but those aren't really what I would consider part of the sculpting. I'm only going to be sculpting using the tools in this kit and the clay from this kit. So stay tuned for part two of this video. Thanks for checking out this review. I give this one a thumbs up. I'd say if you, uh, are interested in getting started in polymer clay that uh, this is a good way to get started uh, this is probably a great kit for kids that want to sculpt with this because it's soft enough you don't have to have he-man hands to condition this clay and if you're just beginning with polymer clay and you don't want to lay out a bunch of money on supplies you just kind of want to get a feel for working with the material this is a great way to go so again thanks for checking out my video I hope you enjoy it stay tuned for part two if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments uh, hit that like button and uh, thanks for checking out my video.